Hello and welcome. You're watching Tech24. I'm Julia Seeger. Coming up in this edition. If you look at x-rays or moles for a living, artificial intelligence is coming for your job. Scientists at Stanford University have recently developed a deep learning algorithm capable of making the difference between innocuous or potentially fatal blotches. And a very energy efficient Test24 this week, Dan and Jay will tell you how you can purify the air and better control the temperature of your home, as well as monitor the amount of water you use when showering. But first, Latvian engineers have developed what could soon become the next hot winter sport. It's called drone boarding, and as the name suggests, it's a giant drone able to tow snowboarders and lift people. The new discipline is already hailed as a revolution in the areas of extreme sports as well as rescue missions. It's like water skiing, but with a high-tech winter sports twist. This is drone boarding. The idea is simple. A powerful drone steered by a remote control pulls up to four snowboarders at a time. After two years in the making, the idea finally got wings. The idea of drone boarding was basically like a Friday afternoon idea. We, we had the drone and we thought uh, there, was, there was winter outside and we thought, OK, let's go and let's try it. After testing out a smaller four propeller drone, the engineers built a prototype with 16, weighing in at 55 kilograms and three meters long. The engine can reach speeds of up to 150 kilometers per hour, although the safe maximum for drone boarding is 60. The invention also has the potential to save lives. The drone can lift uh, 145 kilograms, so it can lift a per, uh, person as well. For example, if there is a building on fire, and uh, the people cannot, uh, cannot escape, uh, the drone could, uh, could fly and lift them off the roof and bring it to a safe place. Initial tests with firefighters have been encouraging, but it doesn't come cheap. The prototype costs 35,000 euros. Safety and reliability are also issues that regulators will have to tackle before the drones are commercially viable. But for now, the first crop of drone boarders are having the time of their lives. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> it is awesome, definitely. Like, the speed was so fast and uh, after a few improvements, there will be so many uh, things to do with this thing. Engineers are working to extend the drone's battery life past its current 10 minutes. So their invention can really take off. The Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, founded by Mark Zuckerberg and his wife, is making its first acquisition. The company is set to buy Meta, a startup that developed an AI to enable scientists to pinpoint their research papers that could help them in their work. And by helping them find relevant scientific information, Facebook believes Meta's tools can dramatically accelerate scientific progress to help cure, prevent, or manage diseases. We're going to keep on talking about AI and its developments in the field of medicine with our in-house expert, Dan and Jay Kattelkar. Hello and welcome, Dan. Hello, Julia. Before we start, can you refresh our memory and explain what is artificial intelligence, deep learning, and machine learning? Well, artificial intelligence is a broad set of terms. It essentially enables computers to mimic human intelligence, whether in terms of uh, by using logic or machine learning. So machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence. And as the name suggests, it's a set of techniques that allows machines to improve its tasks with experience. And deep learning is a subset of machine learning it essentially composes of algorithms that permit uh, softwares to train itself by, or rather improve its tasks of uh, image and speech recognition, just to give you two examples. And this is done after the deep neural networks are exposed to vast amounts of data. And so this was recently published in Nature. A research team from Stanford University has just developed a deep learning, this time a deep learning algorithm to check for skin cancer. Right. As I mentioned before, there are three components. One is, of course, the deep neural networks in deep learning, in which, uh, which are exposed to huge amounts of data. And once they start recognizing their data, the algorithms, they allow them to the software to train itself and improve. So this is what the researchers at Stanford Institute did. Uh, they collected or they had a huge uh, database of 130,000 uh, pictures uh, denoting different skin diseases. These were, of course, vetted by um, dermatologists. And they built this application using uh, deep learning, uh, in which the algorithm was able to process through these images. And as it processed through the images, 
it uh, trained itself to recognize these patterns. And as of now, the application is on a computer, but the big moment will come when this application will be able, or it will be done on a mobile, uh, mobile phone or a tablet. So at the, at the tip of your fingertips, you can just, uh, you'll be able to recognize if a, cancer if, is a, small, for if a patch is uh, right. malignant uh, skin cancer or it's benign. And some apps are already hitting the market and they claim that they can check for cancerous moles. How accurate are they? Well, dermatologists have always advised uh, some caution when it comes to using the apps because they say that they are not exactly accurate and of course you cannot, they are not uh, replacements for doctors. So the dermatologists say that it could lead to, a, you know, some, uh, I don't know, false uh, alarms, for example, the app may say that you have skin cancer and it might not turn out to be skin cancer. So you have or to- Or the opposite. Yeah, exactly. So dermatologists advise uh, caution while using apps. Very well. And now that's just an app, but in California, there's an entire clinic that has adopted AI for better patient care. Yeah, it's called Forward. And what you do is a patient just enters that clinic and he gets, uh, his body gets scanned. He's able to, or uh, he's equipped with wearable sensors that are uh, integrated with the company's artificial intelligence system. So this system is able to tell or send uh, alerts to the patient as well as the doctors about the, the condition of the patient. And it also advises uh, along with the doctor the right uh, treatment. So it can be, the, the biggest advantage of this uh, clinic is that it leads to quicker evaluation. So you don't have to wait for days just to get an appointment with a doctor and undergo all the, the tests, yeah, which takes a bit of a time. So yes, this is a next step forward in the way we get ourselves checked up. So that's for the health industry, but we're also seeing in our daily lives more and more home bots uh, driven by artificial intelligence. We also, we all know about Siri, uh, but today on set we have Alexa by Amazon and it could be even more intelligent than other home bots. Why is that? Well, the Alexa, as you see here, is uh, integrated in the Echo Dot. So this is a puck-like structure made by Amazon. Uh, it is a digital personal assistant and it can do multiple things. Uh, it can play music, you can hail an uh, Uber cab, you can you know, get weather updates, you can play, uh, I don't know, many things, you can get news updates. So maybe let's try, let's uh, try. Sure, so you go first, you have to say Alexa, it's the trigger word which... Uh, okay, Alexa? Who is the president of France? France's president is Francois Hollande. Which is a very Pretty good accent. Impressive, yeah. And it's quite quick. So let me ask Alexa. It's quite, I mean, this development in uh, deep learning, it's, uh, you know, it's interesting, but at the same time frightening. Maybe, I don't know, computers will have consciousness. Uh, right, we already start talking about yeah. her as she. Yeah, exactly. And they are learning on their own. Can you imagine? So let me ask Alexa if she has consciousness. Alexa? Are you conscious? I know who I am. Let's put it that way. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty ambiguous. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so uh, how it works is that uh, the, uh, the system, the, what we call Alexa, is uh, part of this Alexa voice service in which uh, the, uh, the device is connected to a cloud, to the Amazon cloud, and it uses deep learning, so it has massive computational power. And the more, you know, this is part of, of course, the software that recognizes speech. And so the more you interact with it, the more it learns and the better it gets. Now, Alexa is not just about playing music and getting updates. It can also be used uh, for smart homes, to, whether you want to control your thermostat or whether you want to control your lights. Very well, and we're gonna be talking about thermostat in the next sequence coming up is Test 24. This week in Test 24, we're looking at three energy efficient innovations. And let's start now with this connected uh, shower head. Yeah, it's a smart shower. I've never uh, bothered to ask myself how much water I use while taking a shower. Maybe I don't this either. is a, yeah, <laughs> this is a useful device which will tell me the amount of water I'm wasting and, and when to stop. Exactly for, I don't know, my little contribution to, to the environment conservation. So, uh, Hydro Shower is a smart shower. It has uh, LEDs, as you can see here. These LEDs are powered by a turbine inside, so you don't need a battery pack for this. So you connect it to the pipe, and the moment the water starts coming in, the turbine moves and the LED lights up. So here you can see there are different uh, colors, different LED colors. Though, So the first color is green, which indicates that uh, till 10 liters of usage, 
the color will remain green then it will turn to blue it will then for till 20 liters uh, it will then turn to purple till 30 liters and to red till the usage is 40 liters and if you exceed 40 liters it will start flashing red light so that is a real warning sign that you ought to stop so this is uh, it, it's it's a way of not only uh, you know uh, environment or contributing to the environment right. conservation but it's also and it's a way of to use. You just saving have to, water to and it. saving energy so it comes with an application so you can check the amount of water that uh, you've been using on a day-to-day -day basis through that application and you can also adjust how much uh, water you should uh, be using. And now many of us have thermostats at home but here on set we have a thermostat that's even more intelligent uh, it's called Wien. That's right it's also a French product and uh, it's of course not, there's nothing new about smart thermostats the smart thermostats have already been in the market for a long time what distinguishes this uh, thermostat? It, first of all, it looks quite cute. The, it is yeah, very aesthetic. The, the processing unit. So, uh, what distinguishes this is that uh, after you connect it with the app, it auto through the app it detects when you are leaving the house and when you are coming in. So, the moment you leave the house, it lowers the temperature. So, even if you forget to, you know, by some chance you forget to lower the temperature, it does that. And when you enter the house, no matter when you come back, maybe after a long va vacation, it ensures that the house is proper, you know, warm and cozy. So that's one of its uh, USPs. And what about for the air to purify our air? There's an ionizing technology behind the Tequoia. Yeah. So what it does is it releases negatively charged ions called anions. Uh, so these negatively charged ions, they attach themselves to dust particles. The company claims it also uh, gets rid of nanoparticles and they uh, essentially bring them down either on any surface, whether it's wall or on the bed. So that's how they eliminate uh, the uh, floating dust particles and makes the air pure. Thank you so much, Dan. We're going to maybe say goodbye to our AI friend here on set with us. Alexa, goodbye. Goodbye. And there you have it. That was Amazon's Alexa. Time to wrap up this week's edition of Tech24, but you can watch it again on our website, France24.com.